Hi, in this video you will learn how to install a ROS2 package. We will explain it by installing TurtleSim package. After that, we will learn about command line tools, especially the help command. And then we will explore RQT. So here on the right hand side, we have the ROS2 commands which we will use in the video. If you already know ROS1, then on the left hand side, you can find the corresponding ROS1 command. So we'll just search ROS2 turtle sim. This is a very important tutorial since we'll be using turtle sim package throughout the course. This package is very lightweight, it has a GUI and it's very simple and thus excellent for learning the basics of ROS2. So, We've started by installing TurtleSim package. Open the terminal. First, we have to update our system. So just type sudo apt update. We can install a ROS2 package by using this command ROS, then distro, and then the package name. Here it's TurtleSim. So, copy this command and paste it in a terminal here we need to change the distro to foxy since we are using foxy so sudo apt install ros foxy then package name turtlesim next search for turtlesim github here go to this link and select foxy double here select foxy double and here is our turtle sim package which we have already installed you can explore this turtle sim package in order to get more idea about it next we will be needing terminator so if you don't have terminator installed in your system you should install it it provides several features that your default terminal doesn't support so type sudo apt install Terminator. So type Y. Next is command line interface. Just search for ROS2 command line interface. A command line interface processes commands to the computer program in form of lines of text so when you type ROS, uh, ROS2 command the command line interface performs the action here the most important tool is help it simplifies the process of learning ROS2 and helps you in introspecting a ROS2 system all the ROS2 command line interface tool start with the keyword ROS2 and has various subcommands and argument. Now uh, you close it and open the terminator. I will split this screen into some parts. Next type ROS2 hyphen H. So this is the help window and here you can observe that in the use like we have this com uh, commands so we have this action back component doctor there are many commands we'll explore this pkg command here again we will go to help just type ROS2 pkg then hyphen h and here you can observe that in the usage we have this ROS2 PKG then uh, commands. So there are many commands for it like create, executable, list, prefix. Uh, we'll explore this list command. So just type ROS2 PKG then list and then hyphen H. So we'll go for the help. 
here this is the only command so uh, we can directly type ros2 pkg list and it will provide the list of all the packages installed now here you can observe that there are many ros2 packages it's currently installed and even you can find our turtles in package which we have installed so this is our turtles in package Next, we'll explore this executable command. So just type ROS2 PKG then executable. Or ROS2 PKG then executables and then hyphen H. So here in the usage, you can observe that we have to type ROS2 PKG executables and uh, like we want to know the executable of TurtleSim package. So we need to type uh, the package name which is TurtleSim. And after the, uh, just press enter and you can see the command working it shows us the list of executables present in the turtlesim package so always use hyphen h for help till you get used to the commands help will simplify the learning process for beginners next is rqt just search for ROS2 RQT. RQT is a GUI tool for ROS2. Whatever you can do using RQT can be done using command line. The main reason of to use RQT is that it's very simple, user friendly and has a GUI. To open RQT, open the terminal and just type rqt press enter so here is our gui for rqt we'll mostly using this plugin section and in plugin mainly we'll be using this introspection and logging and the service topics and visualization part so that's it for this tutorial I hope you like this video and learn something new. If you like this video, please give us like and subscribe our channel and keep learning.